hello, good morning, happy Tuesday, welcome back to my channel. It's been an interesting morning, I'm not gonna lie. I was woken up at roughly 3.50 a.m. this morning by the loudest thunder and lightning. Like, it was so loud and I could not go back to sleep. And I was laying in bed for a good amount of time before I got up and I was thinking about how ironic it is that just a couple of days ago, I lowered the volume on the white noise on my hatch sleep alarm that I sleep with because it was at 100 and somebody told me that they thought that that was way too loud, so I lowered it. And I just couldn't help but wonder if I had left it at level 100, if I would still have been woken up by the thunder and lightning. Probably not, because it sounded like I was in a vacuum previously. But apparently this lower volume is, is better for my ears, so fine. <laughs> If you've been watching my videos since I lived in West Hollywood, then you know I had a really loud neighbor. So I just got used to putting like every single fan, AC and white noise machine on to drown out the rave that went on underneath me every single night in that last apartment. So when I got here, I just was like, yeah, we'll keep it at level 100. And I was corrected and told that that was probably way too loud. Anyway, who knows if that would have kept me from waking up this morning, I don't know. But I did wake up and I decided after laying in bed for quite some time that I was just gonna get up and work. So I answered a bunch of emails, folded my laundry, laundry and now here we are. It's 7 a.m. and I feel like I've worked a full day already. <laughs> I also feel like I had trouble falling asleep last night, which means I didn't get a ton of sleep, but I'm surprisingly in good spirits, even with the lack of sleep. And honestly, at this point, I'm not gonna question it. I'm gonna keep going with it. I'm grateful. We got a couple of events to get to. Let's walk the dogs and get the day going. We're gonna push through any tiredness or any residual lack of sleep symptoms because I'm determined to have a good day. got one regular everything bagel and one pumpernickel bagel and I just got them plain because I'm really in the mood to just toast it with a little bit of plant-based butter. It is time for coffee number two. As I said, I got up at like four o'clock this morning and I made a coffee, but uh, it's time for another one. I've also been thinking about getting a coffee maker for winter because I don't know that I'm gonna wanna drink iced coffee in New York City winter. I used to be able to drink this year round in LA because every day feels like summer, but I don't know about New York. Comment below if you have a good recommendation for a coffee maker for me. It is time to podcast. Fun fact, since moving to New York, I have been recording my podcast from bed. And that is mostly because I feel like I can close this room in and because of my bed, it soaks up some of the residual noise. I used to like to record in my closet, but I sadly cannot fit in this closet. Otherwise I would be recording in this closet, but yeah, that's not gonna work. So one day I'll have a podcast studio, but for now, here's my setup. And I wanna say something to you, not to toot my own horn, but to show you that you have to just start with where you're at and stop making excuses because the Yoga Inspired Life podcast is charting on the top 200 charts internationally and it has for quite some time on the self-improvement podcast charts, which is a really big deal. I've been doing this podcast for two years. I produce it, I edit it, I create it. It's a one woman show. As I said, I was recording in my closet in West Hollywood. Now I record from my bed and I record using Zoom and or GarageBand. And I share this because you don't have to have everything perfect or have the most professional upscale expensive setup to be successful and to start the projects that you wanna start. Okay, I need to record this podcast episode. The other thing is, in which I do these different practices. And I got the podcast episode done and I'm just gonna make a really quick little lunch. 
I think I'm just gonna do some steamed broccoli and some of this bonza. It says rice, it says rice, but I, I'm telling you it's like orzo. So I'm gonna do a little veggie and orzo bowl. <laughs> Time to head into the city. We're gonna go to the Alo Yoga flagship store here in New York, which is their Soho location. We are checking out their new New York City Wellness Club, where I believe it's like a fitness possible gym, maybe one-on-one -on -one training session. I know I'm gonna be working out and I'm ready for it. So let's go. outfit I'm gonna change into. Cute. I like this color. Very cute. Gotta go home and shower. This is nuts. Quickly getting ready because Shy Guy and I are going out to dinner. Also, I know you guys keep asking like where we met, what's his name, all the details, but here's the thing. I don't feel like sharing that yet. <laughs> We're still in the early stages of dating, you guys, and I decided to include him in my vlogs because I'm seeing him a lot, so it would be hard for me to pretend like that wasn't happening. So I'm, you know, sharing bits and pieces of it. I think that is very generous of me <laughs> because normally I would not be sharing something that personal this early on. So just know that I'm not like trying to be secretive in like a manipulative way. I'm just setting some boundaries with what I share. Doing my best to try to find a happy medium. Also, I got an eyelash curler after not having one for maybe close to a decade and I'm obsessed with it. Here's the full fit. Just doing this little faux leather skirt that I got from Revolve. My go-to Sam Edelman sneakers. And then I got this mesh long sleeve top on Revolve and I just have a little like triangle bra from skims on underneath i'll try to take clips on my phone if not i will see you tomorrow morning Good morning. This coffee is just not cutting it. I barely had any coffee left to make myself a proper coffee this morning, which is just not right. <laughs> so I'm thinking I have a nail appointment that I need to go to right now. So maybe we go get a coffee, get my nails done and go to the grocery store. My fridge is essentially empty. <laughs> like all I have is spinach and a little bit of broccoli that honestly, I don't think either one of those things is good still. And that is about it, very bare. So we need to go to the grocery store as well. But first, nails. in a moment but we randomly decided to go rogue and go to chipotle and get three veggie tacos <laughs> after i grocery shopped <laughs> because my nails ended up taking so much longer and i'm just starving i will unpack all this and then i'll show you what i got in a minute 
Here is what I got at Whole Foods. I got some stuff to make Italian salad, olives, spring mix, vegan croutons, little tomatoes, some red onion. I also got some broccoli, zucchini, and some little gold potatoes for what I don't totally know. Maybe I will make some curry or something. I don't know. A couple of avocados. Also got some fruit, a couple of nectarines, raspberries, watermelon, some pico de gallo for maybe some black bean taquitos or something. Although I didn't get corn tortillas, but that's okay. Some coconut water, skinny popcorn, because I'm fully addicted to it. <laughs> my favorite iced coffee and the barista blend oat milk that I like to put in my coffee. And then I'm not really like a big plant-based or fake meat person, but I had this pasta last night at dinner that had some vegan sausage in it and it was really good. And I thought I would just get some and try it and see what we think. I've actually never purchased this. Figured why not try it? And that's all I got. I put all this stuff away and then I have a bunch of work to do and I need to decide if I'm going to a fashion makeup event tonight or not. Not really in the mood, but we shall see. Totally forgot to show you my nails. I did the glazed donut nails, like the Hailey Bieber nails. I just do two coats of Funny Bunny and then she puts chrome on top. Really simple, pretty neutral, but still fun. And I just love it. it. Makes me feel really good. I really don't know what inspired me to go to Chipotle. I have not gotten Chipotle since I moved from LA to New York that last day in my apartment. And then there was a Chipotle right there. So I stopped and got three veggie tacos. I'm just sitting on my floor eating. but I just really felt like some veggie tacos. I get rice, black beans, veggies, corn, pico de gallo, and lettuce. popcorn in bed with a face mask on while reading a book. <laughs> I'm a little more than halfway through this book, Tell Me Lies, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Got a candle lit, got the vibes going. I feel like I've had a lot going on with work and in my calendar and in my personal life and a lot going on up here in my head. And yeah, I need to just focus on myself and my energy a little bit. Probably could stand to do that over the next couple days too if I can manage. But it's starting with this evening and just kind of doing what's best for me. So I'm gonna get on with my evening and do that. I will see you in the morning. <laughs>
week. There were so many cute things in there. Well, I love the box. I just think it's so cute. The scent is peony, white tea, gardenia, and sandalwood, and it's just adorable. Maybe we put it on the shelf? What do you think? Although I might have to actually switch the plant because that would catch on fire. <laughs> cute. Very, very cute. I have a call with a brand in like an hour that I need to prepare for. Lots of work to do today, nothing very exciting. I also want to clean my makeup brushes, but first I want to make some lunch. I'm going to make that Italian salad that I was making a lot right when I first moved to New York. I'll show you how I make it though. For the salad, I'm going to do some mixed greens. I like this 50-50 blend. It's like baby spinach and spring mix. I'm going to do tomatoes, cucumber. Oh, I didn't even get the vegan Parmesan. I totally forgot. Oh well. Some olives, some Italian dressing. I love to get the spicy olives at the olive bar from Whole Foods, so we'll do those. And then these seasoned croutons, also from Whole Foods. These ones are vegan. They have a couple of other ones that are not vegan, but these are safe. And then I'm topping it with this Italian dressing. I have like 10 minutes before this call, so I'm gonna just wash my makeup brushes really quick. I feel like my skin has been breaking out lately, like the last few weeks. I can say that I think it's partly because of stress. Yeah, there's been a lot going on. Um, but I always like to make sure my makeup brushes and like sponge is clean just in case. I like to use this liquid soap from Beauty Blender. So I'm gonna wash all of that. And then I'll also spray them all down with just some rubbing alcohol. Just do a little extra, you know, disinfecting. So yeah, let's wash these. Brand call went really well. I'm working with so many amazing brands right now that I'm so excited about. Love that for me. Going to meet up with a friend for dinner. I think I'm gonna wear these jeans from Madewell. They're like high-waisted flare jeans. And this top that I haven't gotten a chance to wear, it is by Aster, which is like one of my favorite brands. And then my cream Mark Fisher boots. I think that'll be really cute. Okay, we're ready. Gonna use a little bit of this lip butter balm from Summer Fridays. I have been so into it. I'm actually going to dinner with my friend Nika, who originally I met her in LA. We used to be neighbors and she's in town for New York Fashion Week this week. So I'm so excited to see her. We're going to go to Ha Ha Ha. It's a vegan Mexican restaurant. They have a couple of locations around New York and we're going to have maybe some spicy margaritas, some vegan Mexican food, which is really just what I need. Like I love an early dinner, come home, read my book, relax. Love that. It's officially happening. It is in the 60s in New York. Fall is here. It's sweater weather, baby.
it's one o'clock and I'm finished with all my work. There really is no better feeling. Dressed and ready because I am heading into the city to meet up with Nika, who I had dinner with last night. She invited me to go to the Friends Experience with her, her best friend, and her sister, which I think will be really fun. I love Friends. I'm not like a super fan, but I'm not really like a super fan of anything other than yoga. <laughs> But I do really like friends and I think that this would be fun and I want to spend a little more time with her before she heads back to LA tomorrow. So I figured, why not? Just wearing this Annie Bing Los Angeles sweatshirt <laughs> tucked into my favorite high-waisted Levi's because it's feeling like slightly chillier today, which I freaking love. It's definitely feeling a little bit more like fall today. My go-to Sam Edelman sneakers. We're keeping it very comfy and casual, lots of walking. By the way, this outfit, along with everything you see in my apartment, the jewelry that I'm wearing, pretty much everything I possibly can find a link for will be linked in the description box below. Just in case you like something that you see, you can snag it for yourself. I figure if you watch my videos and you're vibing with me, then we probably have similar tastes. So I always try to like link everything down in the description box but anyway we gotta head into the city because i'm gonna be late if i don't leave right now There's the Monica closet. Remember my closet in West Hollywood? That was it. <laughs> vegan pizza that I'm gonna heat up right now. The group chat has been going off while I was at the Friends Experience, Brooke, Max, and Jono. And apparently we're going on an adventure in Little Italy and Jono's picking me up in an hour. I don't know if I'm gonna just wear what I'm wearing, but it's like kind of got a little bit hot. I don't know, but first things first, I need to eat because it is five o'clock and I had that late breakfast and it was not enough. I think I'm also gonna steam some broccoli too and do like pizza and broccoli. Okay, there is my dinner, my lunch dinner, just in case there's no food for me tonight. I wanna make sure I eat a little something. I am gonna have to eat this pretty quickly. So that I can take these little girls out for a walk, yes! Just decided to wear what I was wearing. Had a really fun afternoon with Nika and her sister and friend, but I am exhausted. We walked all around town. Okay, let's go meet up with Jono, Brooke, and Max. Meep, meep. The drinks at that place were not good, so we got beers to go and we're walking the Williamsburg Bridge home. Cheers. <laughs> wow. 
what a lovely day, what a lovely week. It's been a bumpy ride this week, more on that later. I love that it is 9.15 and I am home. That Italian festival in Little Italy was extremely overwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I'm glad I went, I'm glad I got to spend some time with my friends. I've walked at least 20. 5,000 steps today, 27,000 steps. That's a lot, my legs are killing me. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new and I will see you in my next video.